With over 100 years of history, the port of San Antonio is the most important port infrastructure in Chile, with a total throughput of over 17.5 million tons in 215 alone. The port of San Antonio and its concessionaires are currently building to increase cargo transfer capacity. However, Estimates for the next decade indicate a significant increase in the demand for port services in the central area of the country, and all that demand will require new infrastructure. This is what has led the Port of San Antonio, as requested by the state, to develop the Puerto de Gran Escala, or PGE, project. The project is currently in the basic engineering stage. The PGE is intended as a new outer port located south of the San Antonio Bay and built as an expansion of the current port facilities. The project consists of a large inner harbor and two berthing areas capable of housing four last-generation E-class container ships at the same time on each front. The two terminals, South 1 and South 2, covering 237 acres each, will collectively transfer 6 million TEUs every year. An 11,812-foot-long breakwater will protect the new berthing areas and inner harbor. The new infrastructure and facilities will guarantee safe entry and exit of sea vessels in adverse conditions, ensuring safety in winds of up to 20 knots and waves of up to 2.5 meters. Patrons, clients, and others can access the PGE by land via two means of entry, road and railway. To that end, a new four-lane road has been designed connecting the two new terminals to the port's current road access. And said road will be expanded to six lanes from the dike to the intersection with Avenida Chile. The railway access runs from Santiago on the current railway tracks up to the station at Yoyeo. A new railway line will begin from the station, crossing the El Sauce estuary over a viaduct yet to be built. It will then border the DYR Park, connect with Avenida de la Playa, and arrive at the PGE. Each terminal will have its own intermodal yard for loading and unloading operations each capable of servicing up to four convoys at the same time. New infrastructure will allow transit for trains measuring up to 3,938 feet and double stack rail transport. This will help to decrease the impact of projected truck traffic. The PGE will be developed in stages in order to adapt to demand. The design of new port infrastructure includes semi-automated terminals adhering to the most modern standards in the world. Terminal yards will consist of 44 streets for storing containers over just a few days, until they are loaded onto the container ship for exports or loaded onto trucks or rail for imports in a reverse procedure. Containers in the respective loading and unloading yards are handled using rail-mounted automated stacking cranes, ASC. Automated systems allow for greater operational speeds. The area at the back of each street can fit up to six trucks. Trucks must drive through three portals when entering the terminals. The first is an RFID station where the vehicle license plates and the containers are scanned without needing the vehicle to come to a stop. The second portal verifies ID and checks to see if all documentation is in order. The third and final portal authorizes entry to the terminal. The design includes a parking lot for vehicles in waiting in the event of delays due to unforeseen events. Exit from the terminal requires drivers to go through the same control procedures. 
Where rail cargo transport is concerned, during the day, shift terminal trucks are parked next to the tracks and loaded with containers using a rail-mounted gantry crane, RMG. During the night shift, personnel will have shuttle carriers at their disposal. Shuttle carriers are also used to leave containers on the docks in a position designated by the Operational Control System, where superposed Panamax gantry cranes load them onto the ships. Once the vessel has been loaded, it exits the harbor aided by tugboats. The new Puerto de Gran Escala is a significant leap in technology and safety in our country's port traffic and business. Its design is consistent with state-of-the-art technology and construction standards. A port of this magnitude will help increase Chilean commerce with overseas clients and bring about a new, more dynamic decade of financial development. The PGE is a mirror reflection of the San Antonio port philosophy and was conceived in the full knowledge of the community and stakeholders, contributing to the creation of wealth for the township and province of San Antonio. A new challenge lies on the horizon. A challenge for both those living in San Antonio and the Chilean people as a whole. The new Puerto de Gran Escala. <laughs>